Editor, does this uh, uh, effectively uh, kill the Fortis nomination? Well, I'm not sure, but it could, at least. That was a rather decisive vote not to impose cloture. And hence, uh, if uh, they want to reinstate the name, it's fair to assume that the discussion will go on just as it has for the last four days or more. And it certainly shows a disposition on the part of the Senate not to close off debate. And if you can't close it off with other legislative business to be consummated and the uh, approach of adjournment or the hoped-for approach to adjournment, that then makes a somewhat complicated situation. And something has to be done. Now, the name was set aside so we could go on to legislative business. The question then is whether the motion will then be made at some future time to uh, call up the name and make it the order of business. Well, Senator, you're a pretty good head counter. Do you really see any faintest chance that Justice Fortis can be confirmed? Well, I don't believe that there will be any substantial change uh, in the vote that was taken today. Now, the uh, second cloture petition was filed, and in theory, at least, it could be called up on for a vote on Thursday. Now, assuming that you had just as many members of the Senate present, namely 88, or you had more, would there be any change in the vote? I doubt it very much. This means the nomination is dead for all practical purposes. Well, it means that uh, in the ordinary course of Senate deliberation, you just don't get to the nomination. Because what we were dealing with and what the vote was on was a procedural question. And I think that ought to be made quite clear. You think the uh, nomination ought to be withdrawn at this point? Oh, it's not for me to say because the president sent the nomination and it's for him to determine whether it should be withdrawn. Maybe it's for the associate justice to determine whether he would like to have it withdrawn. If you were Mr. Fortas, what would you do with that? Oh, but I'm not Mr. Fortas. Sure. Well, you're, you're Senator Dirksen. Today. I know. <laughs> and uh, I was wondering if today's vote uh, was more, you regarded as more than just a, a vote against a Fortas, but indicate something more than that. Well, I can say is that you simply cannot ignore uh, a vote that embraces almost one half of the senators who were present in voting, knowing, of course, that to impose cloture, you need two-thirds of those present in voting. It's a far cry to get two-thirds under those circumstances. Senator, any, any, my question, though, is do you think any liberal nomination at this point in our uh, popular opinion would have had similar difficulty? Oh, that's a generalization now, and I don't think that that holds up. Who is the individual? He may be liberal, but on the other hand, uh, he may be well taken, too. Senator, there was some feeling that you were the one man who might have saved Justice Fortis. Do you have any regrets about letting the president down on this? Oh, first, uh, I wonder exactly what it means. Uh, I'm at a loss right now to know what it means. Uh, first of all, uh, was there any condition attached? Uh, to a suspension of bombing. As you heard the whole thing, you thought there would be. Was it that uh, you would restore the DMZ zone? Would that be a condition for it? But where are the other conditions on which we place so much emphasis? The insistence that they quit bombing the cities and our insistence that they recognize and deal we're the Constitutional Republic of South Vietnam. Hanoi has steadfastly refused, and I find nothing in the speech to indicate that uh, that item would be respected and Hanoi would have to come uh, to task on that before you could make any move. But I thought the speech was silent on that subject. you feel the Vice President was breaking the administration? Answer? Oh, I don't like to use uh, those expressions. I just to have to interpret it for myself the best I can. Senator, you mentioned the crisis in the courts yeah. earlier. Would you relate today's vote to what you... How do you see the uh, political situation at the moment? 
Well, <laughs> you will have to be a little more specific. The presidential race. Well, are you asking me uh, what I think about the outcome? The outcome. Oh, who's well. Going, who's going to win and by how much? Well, Richard Nixon is going to win in a big way. How much? That's in the lap of the gods for the moment. But insofar as I can interpret the movements through the country and the different polls, particularly those that have been reliable in the past, I think it will be a very substantial victory. Have you done any uh, toll taking on your own? I never do. You were out in Illinois recently. Yeah, but that doesn't mean I took a poll. Right. In fact, I haven't seen any polls other, though, other than those at the national level. Congressman Ford uh, earlier, uh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, mentioned a crisis, a possible crisis in the Electoral College uh, for the danger of, uh, of Wallace uh, bringing the uh, uh, election into the House of Representatives. Do you feel that there is that danger? Oh, that has been speculated upon for the last two, three, four months. And I guess they've written reams on the subject. And you'll never know until the election is over and you find out who got what. Then uh, we'll know what happens in this very singular college that has neither campus nor classrooms nor a faculty. Are you then uh, not quite as worried, you profess not to be quite as worried as your uh, colleagues in Well, you tell me why I should worry at this moment. Because